well good morning everyone ah do you all have your coffee ready I'm sorry I just drank mine and I left it over there because I couldn't carry that and the tripod and the phone and the charger and everything so but I'm drinking it with you anyway I thought about you when I drank it <laughs> ah, well it was a nice quiet night here last night um, it actually was very pleasant. We're not that far away from the highway, but you rarely ever hear any traffic going. It's not a busy highway anyway. Um, Jackrabbits were all over the place last night. I mean, hopping everywhere. <laughs> I love to watch nature because they are, you know, that's what I feel, free. They have the freedom to go where they want, do what they want. Sure, they have predators. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I hope I don't have another one. Anyway, it's watching them that gives me that feeling of freedom. You know, they're out there and they are uh, just enjoying themselves. They're hopping around. They're looking for food. They're playing. They're, I love to watch them play. They are so cute. But that's nature. And then you go to a city and people are afraid to go out at night. Nature goes out at night and have no fears. Of course there is predators, but then there's predators no matter what, whether we're four-legged or two-legged animals. But in the city, to go out at night? Are you kidding me? You never know what's going to happen. In fact, nowadays, even during the day, you fear to go out. Look what happened in... Uh, Ohio. Look what happened in El Paso. You you can't go shopping. You can't do anything. So a lot of people ask me, why don't I settle down? Why don't I get a stick and brick? Because I'll be stuck. That's it. It's stick. You're stuck. <laughs> that's what stick and brick. You stick, stick from one place. And that's very difficult for me because I can't enjoy the things I enjoy in a town, in a city. Oh, I wouldn't mind a countryside. I love country because that's being out in the wilderness, really, in a sense. Um, and someone asked me also, you know, if I could afford to get like an off the grid home. That I would love, I would love that. But, you know, afford the operative word. <laughs> And you know, if I could have a little piece of land out in the middle of nowhere, still live in my van, because when I want to, I could take off, do what I want, and come back to my little piece of heaven. That I would love. That's, that I would love. Yeah, anybody got cheap land out there where there's trees around and maybe a stream or something like that? Well, that's asking for a lot, is it not? <laughs> but that I wouldn't mind. I could settle for that. I, You know, okay, let me tell you one of my crazy desires, okay? <laughs> I know y'all are going to really think I'm crazy. Many, many years ago, I almost bought a houseboat. And back then, they were like dirt cheap. I think it was like $3,000, I believe it was. I could have made payments on it. Nice little old shanty boat. That's okay for me, that's what I like. And live out there on the river or in the bayou. <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. And every time I go down into South Louisiana, I kind of check it out, you know, is there a place out here in the bayou? <laughs> because that's all wilderness, it is. 
and I would love to be out there like that, but that's here nor there. <laughs> I would love that though. Anybody got a, a, a shanty boat they want to uh, either rent out or sell very cheaply, make payments on, on the bayou, on the river? Ah, okay. Check me out. <laughs> yeah, comment. <laughs> I know. See, I, I like all natures. And to some people, like gators, they are predators. They are. But I think being afraid of them is your worst enemy. I'm not afraid of them. I'm cautious. I am not going to put my hand in their mouth. I am not going to feed them. I think they get enough food out there in the wilderness. But to watch them, oh, it's awesome. And to watch the deers just jumping around in the field, free. And like last night, the jackrabbits, free. Oh man, that's the way to live. That's the way to live. I like armadillos and watch the possums and just the birds. It's just to me, that's heaven. That's heaven. That's why I keep this lifestyle because I could not stand to be in a city, in a town, in a stick and brick. I wouldn't mind living in my little band forever because I live outdoors 90% of the time. But, you know, here and there, eh, that's life. It would be nice, though, to end mine that way, in that kind of life. <laughs> okay, I'm dreaming. Come on, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Don't go saying, oh my God, she is totally insane. I'm not. <laughs> or maybe I am. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say good morning to you and to let you all know that we're okay. We're, uh, I'm revamping my, uh, my uh, van and the playpen that I had for the doggies I'm using also to divide the front from the back of my van because, oh my God, they get into it. And uh, they get in the front. I don't want them in the front with me. They, they will have fights because all four of them want to sit right next to me and I can't drive while they're fighting. So I, I've got part of it between the back, I mean the front and the back, that way they can't fight. And then the rest of it, or most of it, I've got where if the weather is not permissible for them to be able to go outside, I can put a tarp over the doors, you know the doors that open up, put a tarp over that, keep the rain from coming in, have the part of that playpen across it, you know, here's, okay, across like that. They can't get out. Rain doesn't come in. They've still got the fresh air and outdoors. So, you know, I'm trying to make it not convenient just for me, but I want it convenient for them. So, anyway, guys, until later. Love you all. Hugs and peace. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. And no, I'm not crazy. I just have weird dreams. <laughs>